Saunas are all the rage right now. Saunas. Sauna. Sauna. Red saunas popping up across the country. But did the world forget about steam rooms? Today we're going to be reviewing a one of a kind product, which is a luxury at home steam room. This is a new emerging category of products that I think we're going to start to see a lot more of. So this is an at home steam room from Geyser Steam Solutions. So I scoured the internet for these types of products and all I could find was is these like multiple five figure in home installation options inside of a shower or you get something like the sauna box which I made another video about which I'll link up right here which is a more portable tent style steam room so as far as this whole category is concerned this is really the only product that I've seen that's actually like this let's talk about what are some of the differences and benefits between a sauna and a steam room traditional dry saunas use dry heat and infrared saunas heat you up from the inside out and steam rooms are a wet heat that comes from heating up water and then releasing that steam into the room. The only real difference in terms of benefits that I could find between steam rooms and saunas is really steam rooms are good for respiratory issues and congestion and stuff like that. They might just have more of an advantage over the dry saunas. So really, whether you wanna do a steam room or you wanna do a sauna, it just comes down to preference. What do you enjoy more? Let's talk about the first category, which is gonna be the setup. I had an extremely hard time setting this thing up. So if you're gonna get something like this, I highly recommend that you take them up on their added service, which is just gonna have someone come out and build it for you, or you hire a task rabbit or a handyman or something like that. I would not recommend you build this on your own. And if you are gonna build this on your own, then I would recommend a minimum of three people. And I would hope that you're very handy because it, it was challenging to say the least. And once I got the actual thing set up, I plugged it in, turned it on and it works fine. And it does exactly what it's supposed to do. But it just, man, what a mission it was. And I went back and forth with the CEO and gave him tons of feedback on how he could improve this experience because it wasn't a luxury high-end experience for a luxury high-end product. And to his defense, he did make a lot of changes and upgrades that I was suggesting. So for that, I definitely give him a big thumbs up. So let's talk about some of the issues that I had with the setup and then some of the the changes that he made specifically. So putting these walls together and getting them to line up on the ground tile was extremely hard because it's made of this material that's antimicrobial. So it does have this tendency to actually warp a little bit. In order to combat that, he put down these metal railings that you slide the walls into. So it's kind of like Legos where you're just kind of like attaching them. So as far as the dimensions goes and the size of this unit, it's about roughly 50 inches wide, 40 inches long, and 80 some odd inches tall. So whatever that converts into feet, I'll put right here. It's big, it definitely takes up space, but it's not too big. I mean, it's the size of like a solo sauna. Now, here's the thing. There's a bench in here where it looks like it could fit two people. And I would say realistically, it could fit two small people, maybe one large person. One of the issues that I ran into when I had multiple people inside of the steam room is the steam emits from this little piece on the bench. And and that part's not ideal for two people because the person on the side where the steam is coming up usually is gonna get burned almost by the how hot the steamer is on their legs. So they have to put up their legs onto the bench. But if it's just you in there, then no issues. Let's talk about the temperature. It gets up to 120 degrees Fahrenheit inside of this steam room, but it feels way hotter than that. I don't know what the difference is between the dry sauna and the steam room that makes it feel this way. But my experience has been that I could go up to 200 degrees Fahrenheit in a dry sauna and it would probably feel close to the same temperature as it does inside of a steam room. And I will say that this steam room doesn't feel like it gets as hot as the sauna box steam room, which is the smaller tent portable steam room that I did another review about. This steam room also takes anywhere from like 30 minutes to 45 minutes to fully heat up and get going. And something that I noticed and my friend pointed out to me is that it usually feels like in order for it to get to its full temperature, you actually have to be inside of the steam room because your body heat actually helps with the heating up of the ambient air. One of the cool things about once the steam room is set up is actually super simple to use. So there's just this little container that you pour a bunch of water into and then you plug it in and then the steam room will just start turning on and there's nothing else that you have to do. And you can just plug it into a normal 110 volt outlet and you don't have to do anything special other than you don't wanna plug anything else into the same circuit because it's gonna use that maximum voltage of that house 
off circuit. So if you plug something else in, then you might shut off the circuit. This steam room, once you order, it takes around 15 to 21 days to arrive and it arrives on this giant pallet. And this pallet is so heavy. The material in here, honestly, it's a lot with the glass door and the side panels and all that stuff. It's very, very heavy. Big explanation point there, asterisk. If you order it, make sure someone else builds it for you. I can't harp on that enough. It took way too long for me to set this thing up. And so in my experience, since I had a bunch of issues in the setup process, the customer service was actually excellent. As far as maintenance goes with any type of at-home steam room or sauna, it does require that you take good care of it. What that looks like specifically for this product is when you're done using this steam room, you're gonna open it up, you're gonna wipe it down, and I've put together a little distilled water and vinegar solution that I use in a spray bottle. I'll spray all the walls, the floor, the ceiling, and I'll wipe it down with a towel and then I'll leave the door open so it can air dry even more. But you're gonna have to do that every time you use it. So just be ready to use more towels than you were probably using before. Otherwise, you know, bacteria can grow, mold can grow. Yes, the walls are antimicrobial and that's gonna help. But if you leave stuff in a wet, damp, moist environment that's enclosed, then eventually stuff's gonna start growing. So let's talk about the overall aesthetic of this thing. I think personally, it looks beautiful. I haven't seen a product like this in this category, like at all, like I talked about before. And so for them to come out with something that looks like really clean and it's just sleek, it looks very modern, and luxury and high end, it's great. We're gonna talk about this in the pros and cons section of like, who is this right for? Who is it not right for? But just from an overall aesthetic perspective, I think they did a really great job. So it's got this cool vinyl ribbed wall that looks really nice. And it's got this nice metal glass door. And other than that, you can't really see anything so that when you open it up inside it's got this cool what also feels like a vinyl some type of composite but it's got a marble sort of look to it so when you sit in it you know it's like oh yeah this is a nice thing this is definitely an upgrade from the experience of being inside of a Tent. So let's talk about what I like and what I don't like about this product. Number one, I love that they are creating a whole new category that I think will be emerging very soon, which is this at home steam room solution. Not everyone likes the dry saunas. It can dry out your skin, it can dry out your hair, and some people just enjoy the respiratory benefits that you get from the steam room and just like they feel like they sweat more. And whether that's true or not is not for me to sort of speak to, but it's just really bringing up the idea that I think there's a hole in the market and that hole in the market is that there's nothing out there like this. If you're interested in getting a steam room, then I think this is actually the only solution that you can get that's not gonna be a cheaper portable tent option. So that's awesome. I love that it's so easy to use. You just plug it in, you wait for it to heat up, you get in. And then number three, I love the way that it looks. If you have like a really nice house or you just wanna have something for your man cave or your garage to just like look legit, look super dope, then I think this is really cool for that. I also love that the CEO is so open to feedback. So I said, hey, I've had these issues with the walls. Can you fix it? He did, he put the rails in and now that shouldn't be an issue. Then I said, hey, I have this issue with steamer being on the bench so close to the feet. And he just sent me a message and said, hey, we changed it. We moved the steamer further away from the feet. Then he also put in a new feature where there's gonna be a temperature controller. So it looks like he's innovating really fast and he's open to all this sort of critical feedback really that I was giving him, which I think is hard to do when, you know, you just birth a new product into the world and you're trying to get it out there. And so for those reasons, I'm really happy about what I'm seeing from the Geyser Steam Room team. Now I wanna talk about some of the things that I don't like. I don't love how expensive it is. This steam room is gonna run about $8,000. So they did give me a discount code. So if you're interested in getting one, I'll put the link down below. And that does help support me make more videos just like this. But I think I'm getting a really clear picture of where this kind of sits in the marketplace. Because this is the only sort of higher end steam room solution, it's gonna cost a lot more. And this is meant for a higher ticket audience. So again, this is something that you should consider if you have a really nice house or you want just like an accent piece that like really stands out in your garage and you have the disposable income to spend on something like this. So this would be in that similar price point to, you know, getting a really nice infrared sauna at your house as well. I don't necessarily love the maintenance side of having a wet sauna or steam room, having to do the towels every day and stuff like that is really something that 
I think could be a friction point for some people. I bet if you set up a good system for like a hamper and washing towels and stuff like that, then it shouldn't be an issue. This is definitely a more permanent solution. So once it's set up, it's gonna be very hard to move. So if you're gonna get something like this, it should be probably in a place that you're not gonna leave for a long time. That's gonna be a nightmare trying to move this thing. In fact, I gotta think about what I'm gonna do with this thing and how I'm gonna move it when I leave this house. So to be straight up with you, this has been a really challenging review for me to make and I contemplated not even making it. The reason being is in the setup process, I had all those issues, right? And I was thinking, you know, man, for this high of a price point, does it make sense to have this type of customer experience? And to me, it didn't. But the CEO has really won me over after time and time again, making improvements. All of the suggestions that I gave him, he's now implemented. So it shows me that he's taking this feedback, he's iterated the product, and he's really listening to what his customers want. I was even so hesitant to make this video that I went ahead and called some of his customers to see if they had had a similar experience to me. Because what he told me is that my unit just had some issues in the manufacturing and really it was just like bad luck that my unit had these issues and I had such a hard time building it. So after speaking with a couple of his customers, they both reassured me that they've been super happy with their experience. They had no problem setting it up because someone came and built it for them. They've been loving it and they've been using it frequently and they've had a really good experience with Aaron, the CEO as well. And for those reasons, kind of put my hesitation at ease. Like I said, have a nice house, have a preference over the steam room, over the sauna, and don't wanna have some 20, 30, $40,000 installation in their home, then this is a great option because it looks nice, it does the job, and if you can have someone build it, then it shouldn't be a big hassle, and then it's done. Obviously, this is a higher end product, and if this is out of your price range, then go check out the sauna box video that I made on the channel that I linked up earlier. Also put it in the description below. And if you wanna get the Geyser Steam Room, then again, I'll put the link in the description and you can go check it out. There will be a discount code. So that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, I know you're gonna like this one right here. So go click that one right now. Go watch that video. Take care. Be well.